Hello and welcome to this Let's Talk. I wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you guys face to screen and um, just talk a little bit about uh, Let's Playing and um, and how awesome you guys are. We started out for a few months ago now and uh, it's amazing how how fast our subscribers have risen. I mean uh, we started out at, oh, I don't know, 50 or 40 subscribers, and that was really cool. But then we started Minecraft, and it just skyrocketed, and after that, you know, now we're at 2,700 subscribers, I think. And it's pretty awesome. Uh, so thank you, everyone. We really appreciate it, and we will continue doing it. Anyway, I have recently received a lot of messages concerning how to make a let's play and how to, you know, everything about that. So, basically, my first tip about just doing let's plays are just be yourself. I know there are a lot of people who make let's plays who are really, um, I don't know how to say, uh, charismatic and uh, like when you watch their let's plays you are amazed over how uh, awesome they are at just saying cool stuff and uh, making people laugh and that is very difficult uh, I mean I think some people just are really creative in the way they talk but as I said just be yourself if you try to imp almost impersonate someone it won't be that good. I think um, the thing about me and Lord Pitt's uh, Let's Plays is that we have always, at least I know, I've always tried to more or less be myself and don't really try to uh, say fun stuff. It's just, you know, be yourself and when you are yourself and especially when you're doing multiplayer, multiplayer is very is a very good way to start with let's plays or if you know it's uh, it's really cool because then you have uh, a lot more confidence it seems I know that when I talk alone it feels kind of like yeah now I'm just sitting here and talking to nothing kind of like now um, but when we're here with someone else you can just act like you've you're talking to them without recording and it's it's different it's really nice Anyway, uh, what I I think I um, want to start with is uh, how to use fraps. And I know there are a lot of video recording programs out there, uh, but we have tried a lot of them because we hate, kind of love and hate fraps. Because love, no, uh, fraps seems to be the only thing that actually is able to record both both in-game sound and that is Skype and all the sounds from in-game and the microphone itself so you have like other recording programs which um, which can record uh, the video e better than Fraps because uh, the problem with Fraps is that it doesn't um, doesn't how do you say it uh, compress the the video so it's uh, it takes up a lot of space so you have to have like um, to record for example one hour of Minecraft um, I don't know how much I need I think I need about 40 gigabyte of space and that is a lot and not all people have that uh, so therefore other video programs can compress it and um, make it a lot smaller the problem with those are that you uh, you can't record in-game audio and microphone at the same time, at least not the ones we've tried, and we've tried a lot of them. Um, so, therefore, we are kind of stuck to fraps. So, anyway, I um, I think I should go over the settings, and uh, basically, you can buy fraps at, I think it's fraps.com, and depending on your hardware because it really depends because uh, you need a pretty strong computer to be able to run fraps on 
uh, the newest games. I mean, running Minecraft and Fraps is okay, uh, but uh, when you try to run something like Shogun 2, uh, recording takes its toll, and well, you probably need a pretty strong computer for that. Anyway, the settings I have it at uh, is that I use, uh, th I record at 30 FPS, because that is what YouTube um, plays all videos at. So, uh, I mean, if you have at least 30, you play it at 30 FPS. Um, so it's not, not really needed to record 60 FPS, because then, uh, then you just take up more space. At least that's uh, what I've... That's what my uh, experience is, and I know playing at 30 FPS sometimes can be pretty annoying, especially if you're doing uh, FP, uh, yeah, first-person shooters. Um, then it can can be a pretty limiting factor uh, to your gameplay. So you know you have to take uh, everything into consideration there. Uh, but still, if you have the hard drive space, go ahead with 60 FPS. But I usually just do 30. And then you want to have it at full size. All these settings are will make sense when you're in the program. I play, I do it at full size. But if you do it at half size, that that is uh, a lot easier on your computer. So people with lower spec computers, you can use half size. Although that obviously won't look as good. So I use uh, Record Windows Seven Sound if you have Windows Seven, and I also do uh, check off the. Um, Record uh, record external input so that you have both the in-game and the microphone. My awesome microphone, which basically falls apart soon, uh, but it's nice. I like it. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for for fraps. And um, another tip is that you can um, to get better uh, performance. It can be very smart to when you record to record what you to record what you record to uh, another hard drive so for example if you have uh, the game you are recording on one hard drive you want to record the um, like make fraps put all its files on another hard drive so if you have an external hard drive that is great you can use that although mine as you might have heard before is horrible and it, it makes everything crash and being annoying so not everything works but I have installed a really old uh, horrible thing but it works uh, right anyway another thing is that when you record games it can be a very good idea to record at uh, the resolution one uh, 1280 by 720 because that is uh, what um, what YouTube translates to 720p when you go to um, you know when you open a video for example ours and you can click on the HD button thingy you can set it to 720p and that is basically the resolution I said now and um, that also f in most cases makes it easier for the computer I mean if you record at uh, say 1680 by 1050, which is my native resolution, um, you might have trouble recording. And if you do record at that resolution, you will get annoying black borders on your videos, and no one likes black borders. So, basically, that resolution is pretty good. Th uh, 1280 by 720. So, use that if you want. Um, the other thing is that uh, you really want to make sure that um, you have a good microphone. I mean, I have this one and this works perfectly except for that the fact that it's falling apart. Uh, but if you use one of those horrible $5 headsets that almost break when you touch them, um, the, the audio sound isn't going to be very good. And since you are making a Let's Play, it is very important to have a good microphone because people are listening to your voice and if people are cringing every time time you talk loudly it's not very nice and I think it's very important to ha get subscribers if that's what you're aiming for uh, to have good video and audio quality 
Uh, yeah, anyway, onwards. When you, when you have recorded whatever you are recording, you probably want to make sure you have a, um, an editing software. And for me, I use a program called PowerDirector. It's not free, um, but it's uh, very good, I think. And um, you can uh, produce in all kinds of different um, formats, and it's really very easy to use. Another one you can use, though, is the... Uh, what's it called? Windows Movie Maker, which is free, and I think you can download it from Windows main site. Uh, so, I heard a lot of people use it. I have not ever used it, so I can't really say if it's good or not, but I know that a lot of people use it, and since it's free, I mean, go ahead and try it. Um, yeah. So, uh, when everything is done, and you have produced your video, it's probably gonna be, depending on how, um, what format you use and all that kind of stuff, um, for um, if you are using PowerDirector, though, I suggest using uh, VMW no W Windows Media Video Format in 720p. You'll understand when when you're inside PowerDirector, but anyway, record it, uh, produce at that. Um, right. Anyway, when you do. Uh, have that file for me. It's usually around 500 megabytes for 15 minutes of recording uh, Then you want to upload it to YouTube and On YouTube you want to make sure you have a lot of tags on your video and Tags is what people find your videos so uh, with so when people search for Minecraft the um, and for example, Minecraft commentary, they will hopefully find me and Lord Pitt's videos because we have added Minecraft and commentary uh, to the tags. So add as many tags as you want, and um, you know you can look at other people's videos and check what they have, um, you know, to see what they um, they came up with. And tags is a good way to. Uh, to make sure your video is getting views because I know a lot of people really want to get um, get a lot of views and subscribers really quickly and that is very hard I mean I think m the only reason me and Lord Pit well maybe not the only reason I hope we're good at it but um, we started to get a lot of subscribers with Minecraft and that is, I think, because Minecraft was at its peak period when uh, when we started doing it, and there were very few people who actually had a multiplayer um, recording of uh, of Minecraft. So when we started doing it, people started watching, and we got a lot of subscribers, and that was very nice. So I think if you want to if you want to make uh, get a lot of views. Maybe start with something new, something very new. If you've just gotten a game that just come out, make a let's play of it and um, have fun doing it. It's really important just to have fun. I think it's um, doing stuff just to get subscribers is is not uh, good because people will will know if you if you do it because you you have fun. It's something way different than if you just like, uh, now I have to make a video to get subscribers. That is absurd. And I know there are lots of people who want to have subscribers even though they don't even have any videos online. And that that is weird. I don't I don't get that. Anyway, another way to get subscribers and views are to go to other people's uh, let's play sites and uh, channels in general and check out their videos, comment, um, and I wouldn't say advertise, because if you go around to other people's channels and say, hey, check out my videos, it can be annoying, but I mean, it's no big problem. Many people like me, I don't really care about people who uh, who say, hey, check out my videos. If, if that's a way for you to get views, go ahead, but... Uh, um, 
you have to find a limit there. I mean, again, it's the thing with don't do this to have get subscribers quickly. Don't be greedy about it. Just, just have fun. Um, yeah, I don't really know if there's anything else to do. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna quit there. Thank you a lot for all the subscriptions and uh, it's really awesome to have so many people who send messages and comment and saying how awesome we are and uh, even though uh, we don't answer to all comments we more or less read every one of them we go through uh, hundreds of comments almost every day and um, I more or less answer to all the email uh, or not the emails the uh, personal messages on YouTube. So go ahead, send me messages. And um, yeah, I know that that's why I made this video to make sure uh, people who want to start out Let's Plays know what they want to do. And um, I don't know, just have fun. So thanks for watching this, and I'll talk to you guys later in the next Let's Play. We are, the next thing that's coming up might be more escaping, perhaps, we shall see. So anyway, thank you and goodbye.